Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. With an estimated population of over 200 million people, a lackadaisical leadership, coupled with a not-too-fantastic healthcare system and a virus that's moving with the speed of light, self-isolation was definitely the best option for us in Nigeria. COVID-19 and our leadership. I watch with admiration how world leaders, starting from Trump in America, Boris Johnson in UK, Nicola Sturgeon of Scotland, Ma Angela Merkel of Germany, to mention but a few, and then our own Babajide Songolu of Lagos, yes, our own very own governor, and other numerous leaders consistently allaying the fears of their people and briefing them of their government efforts and curtailing the spread of the disease while at the same time taking questions on statistics and what to do in the event of contacting the virus. I beg no, put me for granted, I didn't say our president was missing in action, no. At least he addressed us. However, while the governor of Lagos State and his deputy were having sleepless nights, jumping between their offices, isolation centers, and media briefing, toilet to you, Baba. The governor of my adopted state, Abia, was relaxed and telling us that the virus would get to Abia because Abia was mentioned in the Bible. Maybe you know nowhere room day. <laughs> As people are dying by the minute in Italy, you know Italy is actually closer to Benin than Ore. I expect my governor, Godwin Obaseki, and his team to forget Adam Sushomole for now and put structures in place. But listening to the lamentation of the nurse from Ira Specialist Hospital, former Otiwoha, made me wonder how prepared my people actually were. No hand sanitizers, no face masks. Please don't tell me it's a federal hospital. I won't take that. I was amazed to hear some pastors requesting their members to pay their tithe and offering via online platform. Make them no make God verse for them all. The government is not only treating those affected with the virus free of charge, but giving palliative to people to sit back at home. Just last month, one would have been considered a lazy head for sleeping all day without a job, but today, people are being paid to sleep at home without a job. It is therefore callous, inhuman, and outrageous display of irresponsibility for any pastor to request tithe and offering from any member at this time. This is the time for the church to not only say thank you to all her members for the support for all these years, but also to thank look out for the poor and vulnerable in the society. The church and monks represent a smaller unit of government in the society should not just be praying to God. Of course, prayer is key, but you should know that a full stomach will pray better. I thank some monks and churches, too numerous to mention, that have donated cash and materials to their members, but I want to encourage them to extend it to non-members too, as the best time to show and practice Islam or Christianity is now. For Jesus Christ said the only way to see the kingdom is to assist the least of his brethren. Even the holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam also admonished faithful to give without expecting anything in return. And since our leaders either practice Christianity or Islam and both religious preaches unconditional giving at this time, as a way of seeking forgiveness and saying thank you to Nigerians for keeping faith despite all odds, I would therefore advocate that our various state assemblies, national assembly members, state executive and federal executive council should join hands with the private businessmen and women who have donated by forfeiting their March, April, May allowances, not salaries as they need their salaries to feed mouth too, to the federal post to enable us to provide palliatives and incentive to the poor and vulnerable who became poor as a result of the misgovernance and bad government policies. For if such funds were used to subsidize basic amenities, we would have taken a, a great leap from our darkness of inflation and food scarcity to a new roadmap of giving governance and leadership a human face in Nigeria. I beg to move. And if you so second, please share. You've really thrown a sucker punch there. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. <laughs> you don't even know where to start with this thing. <laughs> I, 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 go on. 
you know, on, on one end, I want to, you know, clap for you because mm. this is an amazing advocacy. And then on the other end, I want to really attack and fight you. Yes. Now, let me start from the negative. Or should I start from the positive? Start negative. Whichever way. Start so, okay, negative. negative. Now, yes. I'm going to talk about the church, mm. which is what you attacked. Mm. Now, coming to the church um, perspective, I don't think there is any modern church these days that does not um, that doesn't encourage online platform of offerings and types. Let me speak. I'm not going to call the name. The church I attend, I cannot <laughs> actually remember the last time I paid physical offering, as in you know, in naira notes. Mm. When it's time for offering, this is a cashless economy. To be honest, <laughs> I don't remember going to church no, with my physical cash why and all that. But now, at this time. <laughs> Churches are still going on. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about your own place of worship, but churches are still going on. The only difference is that the physical place of worship does not now, you know, encapsulate everyone. Churches are now online. And that's so all, if, the, if, if the church flashes the, the, the you know, the, the mm -hmm. name of the bank account and all that and say, please pay your offering and tithe to so 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 account, mm -hmm. nobody cajoled you. Mm -hmm to pay the offering and tithe. Yeah. Yeah. Even on, hold when on. you're in I'll church, back, even when you're in work. church, nobody cajoles you uh, to pay uh, offering and tithe. It's a voluntary Thank God, Sandra, giving. you're a lawyer. Now, you know what they call, you know no, wait, what they call undue influence. No, wait, this, no, wait, is, wait, this, wait, is, wait, this is, this is not undue influence. Let me, point. let me continue, land. Continue. Now, talking about whether churches are, you know, giving irresponsible or not, I know, thank God you mentioned it in your advocacy. I know too many churches who are at this point giving out to members and non-members okay. at this point. I have a friend who is currently out of job. And you know, she was telling me of how um, a member of the church, for no, she didn't even, she didn't have to say a word, but reached out to her and sent money to her account okay. unexpectedly. So these are members of the church. I also know of a church who sent team members, you know, the leaders of the church, to call members asking what do you need at this particular point. So please, I beg to be differ that there are churches at this point that actually have their members and non-members at heart and are doing their possible best to reach out to people. It's good, it's I would, good you brought that balance. Yes. So please, what do you want, uh, to, come, what do you want to commend him on? Come, oh, oh, fantastic. Uh, asking when it comes to government, you blame them. When it comes to churches, you say, oh, they are doing so much. No, no, no. no. Clearly, no. It's, it's true, Sandra, true that there are so Sandra, many bad eggs. Sandra, I don't, I don't, yes. I don't, OK. That's why, <laughs> that's why I also try to balance, to tell yeah. you, kudos to those ones that are, are doing, doing it. it. But majority, also, I listened to a pastor from one country saying, oh, all your tithe and offering was given to God, so don't expect anything from us at this time. They are the at ones the who crisis really the we are in now, actually. people are complaining of money. This is not the time to begin to ask for tithe and offering, which is why also I'm saying, our elected representative, this is the time to say, okay, I forfeit your, uh, my Which salaries. Where I commend pastors, it was allowances. Yes. Pastors, yes. allowances. It was yes, allowances. Oh yes. Pastors also, this is the time to say, you know what? Don't give anything. We want to say thank you to you for consistently giving. Now done. is the time. For to us to give for back, us to, to you. Give back but there was a church that did that. Mm. And and some, some, say, are, but he's yeah. saying that there's some. That some are churches are doing it. Not we shouldn't just be some. This church is a smaller unit of government, mm -hmm. and that is why you have most of them in every street. So this is the time for them. Since now, even some people, their faith is shaking as I speak now because mm -hmm. they also feel ah, these churches are always asking, "Come for miracle, come for miracle." How come this miracle is? So their faith is shaking. This is the time for you to build that Enforce faith by giving. That and Jesus Christ said, whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren, you do unto so, me. Yeah. So let's not make excuse for somebody saying, bring tight and, 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 and okay. offer let, let online. Me, let me come in anyway, because I, okay. I think you've you challenged the church well enough. But I think, you know, obviously the right scripture for that would be do unto whatever, you know, do unto your neighbor. You know, um, love your neighbor as yourself, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, but I want to commend the look at leadership. From what we did before, we're looking at leadership setting an example. And yeah. that's where we're at. This is the time when world leaders are pretty much on a beauty pageant you know, display. You're seeing, like he mentioned a few names, people like Angela Merkel, yeah. even Donald Trump. People know that they're on show now, and this is their time to show what they really are made of. And thank God he was able to mention some Wolu. So we, we need to recognize that this is the time for true leadership. Leadership is not just a name. 
people are looking for direction because people are confused. This is something they never met before. Mm -hmm. They need you to stand out and stand for something. Stand for something and be consistent in what you stand for. This is not the time to be selfish, but to be selfless. So I think it's a good advocacy because all of us in different areas, people are looking up to us, whether in our homes, whether as yeah. a, a father or a mother. And you need to now stop all those things you've been proclaiming before. This is the time to show, yeah. Yeah. show what you really believe by sticking your neck out and doing the right thing. And if you don't do it, then you'll be exposed that you were a sham all this time. So I commend the advocacy because uh, this is the time of, the world over, people are looking for clear direction. Okay. And, yeah. Um, um, Libo, we are going to start with you. Yes. Okay, now, do you, okay, do you agree that you are a church? Yes, I am. Okay, so yeah, we are going to start with you. Yes, start with um, there is a woman on my street, I'm not joking, this is not a joke, this is serious. Two days ago, some guys on my street called my attention to the fact that she's pregnant, they don't know where the husband is, and she's sleeping on the socket of the toilet of the house. So, since two days ago, I took it upon myself to be feeding her and the two children. Could Do you understand? Now we are looking for mattress for her. Because she's, they are sleeping on the beer socket way in Ogudu. I can take you there. The Elijah, precisely. Now, let me quickly share this to you, with you. When I will government, give you 10,000 naira. I, I want to know where he's going. I'll give you 10,000 naira to, to buy, buy At least add to something to buy my trash. Thank you. And we are, going to put it, we are going to make it public. We are going to put it on social media for people to see. Okay. Now, let me say this to you. When government do their job, it is called responsibility. Mm -hmm. When NGOs, individuals like you, ministries, do what is needful, it is called kindness. Mm -hmm. Showing part of the fruit of the spirit. That is the difference. I don't know if you get it. Mm -hmm. Are you saying we don't have a responsibility to one another? We do. No, no, no. We, we have passed that stage. No, we have passed that stage. Mm. We, we, are, we, are, we are trying to merge the two. Mm. Government and bodies now. Okay. NGO, churches, individuals, or corporate organizations, mm -hmm. and all that. When you do that, that's the art of kindness. But it is the primary responsibility of the government to take... Liberals, if there are social amenities and social security, eh, there will be less complaint. True. Hold on, hold on. I'm going somewhere. I'm going. No, listen. I I'm not defending somewhere. any church. I'm not defending mm -hmm. any church. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm not saying you're there. Yeah, I land your point because no, I'm so, still waiting for you no, to land there it. Is, there, is a, there is a place of responsibility by the government. Yeah. When we do this for ourselves, mm. it, is, it is the basic thing that God is expecting because living is giving, giving is living. Mm. You need to understand and we're that. one another's keeper. Yes. But you see, I don't want to join issues with the pastors that are preaching all those mm -hmm. heresies. You know why? Ignorance and arrogance. Yeah. It's called, you know that spiritual ignorance and arrogance. They don't know. They don't know. So they don't, they don't, right. know. They don't, don't so know. People need to teach them. They are using on the influence of people. People need to teach them that you know what? This is not the time. We have many pastors. We can't be mentioning names here. We have many pastors who are telling their members to go and use their offering to feed at this point. Yes, it's on social media. You understand? But my advocacy here in joining, I mean, supporting you is that citizens should ask their leaders and their, even the church leaders. There's nothing yes. wrong in asking them, how are we doing this? Yes. How is no, this being right. done? Yes, you're right. Well, now it's time for us to stop talking and listen to you. And here's what you had to say. On matters of Agbero at Uyo Airport, Mrs. Vera Odu says, no be lie, yo. I just paid 2K now, in fact. It's been annoying. Once, while living with you, I didn't know this and didn't have that much cash on me. It was so embarrassing because they didn't accept my card payment. A passenger had to bail me out. Still on the same matter, Honorable Dr. Ibrahim Olaifa says, Thank you. This was my experience a year ago while returning to Lagos from Arochuku through Uyo a year ago. Of course, I challenged them, but because of the need for diplomacy and the obvious disdain of the personnel for dignified reasoning, I reluctantly paid. Let us continue talking about it. Perhaps someone somewhere would need a call. After the live stream of the last edition, Rooks Omawumi dropped this comment. Just finished watching my favorite show, The Advocate. Now I can go and eat. Rooks, please don't let us come between you and your food next time. Ensure you prepare your food in advance. That way, you can enjoy a double dose. Food for the belly and food for the mind. After the break, Sandra takes things up a gear as if we're not moving at maximum speed already. Step it up, Sandra. Sure. 